much better. <laughs> I hate artificial intelligence. I have I have an ideological hatred towards it. And you know, with all the videos popping up online and YouTube basically just recommending me artificial created videos. I mean, some of them are, are funny, but for the most part, yeah, I'm I'm not a big fan of artificial intelligence. But Lately, I've been thinking, I mean, I use it a lot in my, well, photography editing and video creation. So today I'm going to show you a plugin or a set of plugins for Photoshop that are really, really powerful when it comes to portrait retouching. Now, I don't do a lot of portrait photography. It's not my thing, but sometimes I do have to photograph people and, well, I need to make them look really good. So in this video, I'm going to share with you a, a very special plugin software that uses artificial intelligence, but it creates a result that would naturally be used with like a classical retouching in Photoshop. So this is why I find this to be really amazing. Now the software or the set of plugins are called Retouch For Me. And these guys have been asking me for some time to make a video on this. I did make a video on this some time ago, but yeah, I mean, I've like, I, Every time I use it, it's it's really amazing. And also what you can do for me is to stick out all the way to the end of the video because this really helps the channel to grow and maybe hit the like button and consider subscribing if you like the content. Thank you. Let's dive in. So recently I was photographing a women's indoor futsal team and the girls needed portrait shots for their you know, up, up and coming website or for just social media. Now I was photographing this in front of a white wall with just two speed lights and I didn't do a really good job when it comes to lighting. I'm going to first of all clean or do the you know, retouching on this lovely lady and then remove the background and pretty much prepare the photo to be uploaded onto a website with a white backdrop. So the idea is to get a white clean backdrop and a nice looking person or subject or girl. So I already have the retouch for me panel installed. I'll leave the links down in the description so you guys can check them out. And here, no, basically this looks like this. And here I have a whole bunch of plugins that I've turned on that are going to one after the other do the retouching for me <laughs> or instead of me. Um, that's kind of the whole idea. So it uses artificial intelligence. So I have my background layer selected and I'm just going to press retouch. Now this is going to take a little while to, or for the software to do its thing, but you end up with a result that looks pretty much like something that you would do as a, well, as a portrait retoucher. Basically it creates new layers with all of the adjustments and all of the things that a, like a professional retouching portrait photographer would do. And this is why I find it to be really cool. And it's within Photoshop. So my like my go-to retouching software that I use. So I don't have to go from like an Adobe ecosystem out to another software and then back to Adobe because all of my photos are always in Lightroom and I like to organize them there. Well, here, I mean, it's the same ecosystem. And the really cool thing is that you have, well, even though it's artificial intelligence, you have full control <laughs> of what happens. You can turn things on, you can turn things off, you can adjust them, change them, delete them. And it, well, it's pretty much like this. So here I have all of the, all of the things that a retouch for me did. So first of all, let's just, let's just start from the beginning. So this is the starting photo. The first thing that I had turned on was the backdrop cleanup. Now you can see here, there's a bit of dots. And if I turn this on and off, you can see things appearing right over here. Now, in this case, since I'll be removing the background, it really doesn't matter. But if you have a white unclean background or just any clean but spotty background, well, this is going to clean it up for you. So you can see what happened. If I just turn this on, these spots were you know, taken out or just you know, retouched over. Then I have the heel. The heel basically <laughs> removed, removed all the spots on her face. So this is before and this is after. Now, again, you could do this manually if I just show you what, you know, just basically clone stamped or, or you know, clone erased all of the spots that are kind of sticking out based on the like an artificial intelligence algorithm, which is really cool. So, you know, that's a step taken care of. The next thing is the eyes. So here there's a folder. And I have like eye brilliance and you know eye eye vessels. And if I turn this on and off, you can see how it's enhancing the eyes. Let me just zoom in, zoom in, zoom in a little bit. So I, she has really lovely eyes. So without 
with. So, you know, it whitened the eye and it enhanced the eyes, but not too much, like really in a really natural way. Now, of course, you can do all of this manually, but this just saves a whole bunch of time. So this is like one layer, this is then the other layer. So it, it kind of brightens everything up and there is a, you know, it just takes the effect over here on the eyes. And well, you end up basically with, now, with prettier eyes. Now the next plugin or adjustment that happened was teeth whitening. Click on this and the teeth are white, which is again, something that you could do manually, but this just really does it for you. And it's all done locally on your computer. Now you can do, you can do a uh, cloud editing. And if you're doing like cloud retouching, the photo is sent to the cloud and then it gets retouched there. And then it comes back and you have to basically, you lose one credit point. Now I'll, I'll, I will get to the payment options in the end, but you can use all of the plugins if you're doing cloud retouching. In my case, since I'm doing it on device, I actually had to download, install, and well, I would have to pay for it each individual plugin. As I said, I'm gonna come to the pricing at the end of the video. So teeth whitening, then I have fabric. Fabric just softens out, well, the fabric, if I turn it on, you can see how it just cleans the fabric over here and here for and after. So this is what was changed. I can easily go to this layer, erase the things that I don't need and basically you know, just adjust manually what I want uh, to be edited. So it's really cool. I can also just turn this off if I don't want it. Oh, really cool thing. And the next thing is dodge and burn. So dodge and burn is basically brightening and, and darkening parts of the face, parts of the body in order to make it less, less bumpy. In this case, clean up the bumps on the face and you can see what happens. So you have a gray layer, <laughs> which is what typical... I mean, if you do dodging and burning in Photoshop, technically, you're basically going to use this principle. So you have a neutral white layer, which you use like soft light overlay um, or, or blending type, and then you just brighten and darken certain parts. And here you can see the areas that were brightened and the areas that were darkened. And well, it just creates, you know, a more even face. It's very subtle because, you know, retouching should be subtle. You should not, you know, make everything plastic looking. But yeah, you know, before, after. So just the spots on the face that were not even, you know, it evened them out. And again, I can I can even adjust how much I want of this. So as you, let's say I want to go 50%. And now I'm just using 50% of this effect or 10%. And now it's 10%. Or I can go all the way to 100. Or I can even turn this off if I don't want to. So full control. And finally, we have uh, a portrait volumes. This basically relights or reshades the face to give it a little bit more volume. So with dodging and burning, you're evening out the face. And then with portrait volumes, you're making the face more, well, 3D. Now it stands out a little bit more. So if I go full screen, so you know, volumes before, after, just enhances the, the highlights and the shadows. Also, you can see here in the hand, so it just pronounces it. It makes it more 3D. So if I compare the, the before, so the starting photo, in the end photo, so we came from this to this with literally just one click. We open up Photoshop, bring in the photo, and then open up the panel. Okay, there's more than one click, but you know what I'm saying. You, know, you select the, the, the effects that you want and then just retouch and everything gets done. All the layers get created and you end up with a... I mean, you can say this was done manually, even though it was artificial intelligence that I hate. But, you know, in this case... I mean, it saved me quite a lot of time and I can do this to all the photographs uh, and I can even use batch rendering. I can you know, choose a specific folder and it's going to do all of these effects on all the photos in that folder. However, I like doing it photo by photo because I, I feel I need to have a little bit more control. So let's try this one again just for, ju just for the fun of it. So retouch and by the way this is a sponsored video the retouch for me people you know contacted me they gave me a whole bunch of these plugins to play with and well i do get to you know keep everything but they do not get to see the video before you guys now even though it's a sponsored video i'm you know just praising the software but there's really hardly anything that i find wrong with it except well except for the price <laughs> which is which is kind of a tricky thing. No, but let me first just adjust this photo and then finally we talk about the price because it's a it's an interesting, it's an interesting thing. Okay, there we have it. So the before and the after. And if I want to just take away the heel because I want I want the spots on the face to be visible also here in this photo. You know, this is now way too natural. So if I take this 
heal away, I can, you know, bring back the spots that, that she has on her face because, well, these are natural beauty marks and I can't just take that away because then it, then it looks too artificially. So one photo, second photo. Well, I can do this also to the third photo, which is this lovely lady. Well, retouch. And there we go. So before and after. Again, I can take the heel away. So, you know, the spots come back and I pretty much end up with, well, <laughs> a ready to use photograph. So how do I get rid of, of, of the background? So let's, I don't know, let's, let's do it on this photo. You know, this is like a classical Photoshop thing. So I'm gonna select all of these layers, control G to group them together. So I have the, all of the effects here. I'm actually going to copy this, you know, edited image, control shift, alt and E. So here I have now a clean layer with, you know, with all of the edits baked in and I'm going to add a solid white background. So pure white over here, put it underneath like this, click on this layer, so the subject layer, and just remove the background and see how well Photoshop will do this. I mean, Photoshop did come a long way with uh, removing the background. And this, I think, if I double click on the mask layer, I can see where it's screwed up. So I'm gonna refine the hair a little bit, like this, this, this helped. And I'm going to bring in like just this parts over here. So it is a bit of, manual work after all okay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply a bit of feathering on this so i'm going to do like two pixels of feathering so that there's a nice soft transition from the subject to the background and i want to brighten you know everything up so that the subject matches the the white background so i'm just going to use curves like this and we end up with well the final image so before and after and this is now ready to be used you know, on a, on a website with, with a white backdrop or even on social media. And it's well easy to swap out the background if you just want to place this lovely lady on some other background. So I have to do 20 more of these and well, I'm going to do with the same steps that I did over here. Portrait retouching in a nutshell. Okay. Now let's talk about pricing. Here is the cloud retouching price so it's basically you know a prescription fee so 20 bucks per month and you get 200 retouches for that so 20 dollars for one month and you can do 200 photographs or you know 35 or 500 or 90 you now this is per month or you have then starter packs with you know with all of the plugins so one photo equals one credit and the cool thing is that you can use all of the plugins with this as far as i know but there's also another option you can actually purchase this so you don't have a monthly prescription and you have well the plugins over here some of them are free some of them are well opened to me because it's a sponsored video or that i've already purchased uh, and some of them are to be purchased and for the most part they cost 124 dollars per plugin so if you want to use all of them it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit pricey so make sure that you really only you know buy the ones that you actually use or you can just go with the cloud retouching you know pay per use if you're doing portrait retouching just occasionally that could be just a cool a cool setup so you have both options which is also wonderful with this software so that's it for me guys i hope you've enjoyed this video thanks for sticking out all the way to the end if you're new consider subscribing hit the like button for the algorithm and if you have any comments or questions leave that down below i would love to answer your questions. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.